We welcome you to Buffalo Wild Wings for one of four high school football preview shows. You saw three earlier tonight here on WOSN, and now we're joined by the Shawnee Indians. It's brought to you by Seifert Orion's Funeral Home. We appreciate their partnership as the Shawnee Indians get ready for Marion Local in week one. It'll be a game you can see on 1150 WI, or see on WOSN, courtesy of 1150 WIMA. It'll be hard to see on the radio. And we're joined by the head coach, Steve Owen, a longtime Shawnee guy. First of all, how have two-a-days gone? Today was it. This is the final session. Today was the last day of two-a-days. And, uh... Overall, they've, they've gone exceptionally well. Uh, the kids have worked really hard. They've done everything they've been asked to do. Um, we've made some changes offensively, a few things defensively, and they've adapted to them well. And, uh, you know, I've been really pleased of how things have been going so far. Now, you said while we were talking beforehand, I didn't like two days as a player. I didn't like him as assistant coach. Are there things you can do to make them a little more bearable, maybe even a little more fun for the guys? Uh, I don't know if I've made them any more fun. <laughs> we'll ask um, them, yeah. You know, we've, uh, we've worked hard. Um, one of the things I told them back in, in January when I first got the job, and again in May when we met before summer, was we're going to work hard. I mean, we're going to get in great shape. We're going to run. Um, we're going to do a lot of things to make sure we're ready for the season because some of the things we want to do, uh, we've got to be in better shape than our opponents. So I can't say I've made them fun, but uh, we've, we've worked through them. Joining us here next to me is Brandon Cole. How have two days gone from your perspective? At the end of today's session, did you just let out a deep breath? It's over. Yeah, four years of them, it's, they're really rough. But uh, yeah, this year has been definitely the toughest. Conditioning, way worse, but way better at the same time. It's, uh, it's been a really good, really good experience. Um, they're rough, though. They've been rough. <laughs> what are some of the ways they were more difficult? Just a lot more running or, or some of the drills, or what was it? A lot more, less breaks, just a lot of just giving it all you got. I think we had a lot of guys motivated to go 100% all the time this year, and it just it actually makes it a little bit easier when you got guys that want to do it, and I think that's what our team is this year, wanting to work hard. Tell us about that motivation, Cody Rollins, quarterback and defensive back. How have you seen this team work hard so far in two days? Uh, everybody's getting a lot, uh, we're getting a lot of reps and at the, the practice and everything, so everybody's working really hard at practice. Stepping into that quarterback role now, how are you feeling? New offense, new coach, uh, what did you learn last year from, from uh, Zach and, and what have you tried to experience this year? Uh, Zach last year helped me with uh, reading the defense a little more and stuff, but uh, I'm excited to get out there and uh, pass the ball a lot more than we did last year. Coach, let's talk about that new offense. We saw the scrimmage against Spencerville earlier this week, or actually last weekend. The shotgun format, you guys are going strong. What brought you to this decision for this offense, and how do you feel the guys are picking it up? Well, we're, we're still using a lot of the same concepts that we've done in the past. We're still running our jet and rocket sweeps. We're still running the trap. But I just like giving our quarterback that little extra step, having being in the shotgun. Um, when I met with the coaches in the offseason, we talked about it. We talked about what we, what we thought we could do to improve. And we all agreed that putting us in the shotgun might give us you know, better opportunities uh, against the teams that we play. Uh, so, you know, we, we told them early that we wanted to get as much as the offense in, as quick as we could, and then just fine-tune it through the rest of two-a-days. And, and we accomplished that by having pretty much everything in by the end of the first week, and then we've spent this week and just kind of getting fine-tuning things and getting ready for the season. So the guys have picked it up pretty well. The, the quarterback in particular, obviously an important yeah. position. Yeah, he's done a great job. Um, you know, all of our quarterbacks have. You know, Cody's our starter. We've got a couple sophomores that are backing him up and another senior that's backing him up. And they've all done a great job of, of picking up what we want to do with the uh, uh, out of the shotgun with our passing attack and our rushing attack both. Receiver, so obviously you get the opportunity to catch more balls out of this offensive set. How are you feeling in your role? I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, uh, Cody's a great quarterback. He's always on point, always throwing good balls, so it makes it a lot easier when you got a good quarterback. How have things been different with Coach Owen? How have you felt practices and just philosophy-wise? Does it feel different with the, the new coach, even though he's been around? Everything just feels smoother. It just seems like everything's in place. we got everything going just together on a schedule and it just seems like everything's going a lot smoother. Cody, we know it's a new offense. How's the defense looking? You'll be out back there as well. Yeah, well we're running kind of the same defense as we did last year, but uh, 
we'll uh, look into uh, get a lot of interceptions and not let the running backs get too far downfield. And hopefully the linemen and linebackers will stop before they get to the second level. So, Coach, you're a Shawnee guy, graduated there, went to Bluffton, assistant there right out of college. What does this mean to, to be a head coach now that you're in the midst of it? You're in practice. You got your second scrimmage coming up. It's, it's been a lot of fun. Um, you know, as I told you before we got started, uh, Shawnee's been a part of my life, my entire life. Uh, with my dad being an employee there and being our athletic trainer, uh, I think I start hanging around with him about age three. <laughs> oh, and really? uh, I don't think I've ever left. So it's, uh, it, it's been really fun. And uh, I'm enjoying the opportunity to be the head coach at, at Shawnee now. And it's interesting, we were, I was saying, you, you talked to the coaches in the WBL, and, and you started listing them off, and, and Coach Garland, you, you coached against the lower levels. A lot of these guys you know, do you feel like that's kind of neat to be a part of a league where there is that kind of repertoire? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, as I said, we had a, our WBL meeting on uh, last Monday, and, and it, was, it was fun to sit with them and, you know, coaches who were head coaches when I played at Shawnee that are still the head coaches at their respective schools. <laughs> Um, you know, it's, it's neat to sit there now as, as their equal uh, and, and be able to talk to them about different things with, with the league and, and with football in general. So it's, it's been fun. Cody, let's talk about the opening week matchup with Marion Local. The last few years, it's been right down to the wire. What do you think about that week one matchup, and how does that get your season started? Win or loss, you have a great opponent to start. Well, uh, last year, I think we hung in there, and we had them. Uh, we were, I think we were beating them at halftime last year. I think... Uh, we just weren't very well conditioned, and that's what uh, stopped us in the second half. So this year, Coach Owens, uh, we're a lot more conditioned than we were last year. So if we get out there and get after it early, we can stay with them and then just beat them in the end. Coach, it's a great way to open the season. How do you feel about that matchup week one with the Flyers? Well, it's a, it's a great program. Coach Goodwin has done an excellent job as long as he's been there. It, it's going to be a great test for us um, to open up with the defending state champions. Um, you know, we're going to find out really quick how good of a football team we have. So, I mean, it, it's going to be a great challenge, but we're, we're excited about it. Let's finish talking about divisions. Of course, seven divisions now in the OHSA football ranks. You are Division Three. H have you had a chance to look at the region yet and, and just trying to figure out where you stand? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've looked at it several <laughs> times, and uh, it's very different. Um, you know, some of the, the smaller Division Two schools have dropped down, you know, into our division, Toledo Central Catholic, Tiffin yeah. Columbian. Um, it, it's going to be a big challenge. And, you know, most of the WBL now is Division III. Right. Uh, I think there's six out of the ten schools are in Division Three. Most of them are in our region. I think uh, Wapak, St. Mary's, and Salina go south. Okay. Uh, the rest of us are in the northern part. But it, it's, it's definitely going to be a challenge. But I still feel that if we have a successful season in the WBL, we got a shot. So we'll see what happens. Shawnee Indians getting ready for week one, Mary Local, and then they will have – a, visit, a road to St. Mary's, a road test before coming home to Van Wert and two road games at OG and Kenton. When we return, more of the Cypher Orient's funeral home pigskin preview. We'll talk with three more players right here at Buffalo Wild Wings on WOSN. Back at Buffalo Wild Wings with the Shawnee Indians getting ready for the 2013 high school football season. It's all brought to you by Cypher Orient's funeral Funeral Home, we appreciate their support. And we are with a couple guys that might like some wings. Will Brown is to my left, a senior offensive tackle and defensive end. The wide receiver and DB, Thad Vernon, down at the end. And Curtis Newland to my right, a guard and defensive tackle. Curtis, who can eat the most wings on the Shawnee football team? You have to know. I'd have to go, I'd have to go with Coach Owen on that Coach one. Owen gets the nod. Oh. <laughs> who is second? <laughs> uh, I'd probably say Bobo. I think Bobo could. Bobo, yeah. is that you? Yeah, that's what they call me around here. <laughs> How many wings can you put down? I don't know, probably too many. 200 maybe? Give or take. That's what we like to hear. That's what we like. Tell us how the lines are coming together, Curtis. How, how's the new offense looking for the, from the Lions' perspective? I think, I think it's the best it's ever looked. We got more size than we have in the past, and with being better conditioned, we're out there and we're not getting as tired as fast and looking better. What does it mean to be in good condition for a lineman? How much are you guys running as well? Hey, we, we run a lot out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's just sprint, go as hard yeah. as you can until the whistle, and come back to the, play, the huddle and take your break. Will, has it been a big adjustment for you on that offensive line this year? 
Oh yeah, definitely. We're um, this year we've been expected to do a lot more than um, years previous. So we just want to be the best condition line we can be and um, make the other team tired. Fat as a wide receiver, how much did your eyes light up when you heard we're going to the spread? Sure, there's some of the same elements, but we're going to throw the ball a little more. Pretty, uh, pretty well. Like I was excited that we were running spread and looking forward to the season, so we can run this spread. How about on the defensive side of the ball? How are things looking? Uh, defense is looking pretty well. I like our, our new coverages are a lot easier instead of they're a lot easier than last year. You don't have to move more people. You just say something and then people go to the spot. So it's pretty easy. Curtis, one scrimmage left against Napoleon. What do you think you guys really need to, to see out of your football team in that scrimmage on Friday that maybe you don't know yet or you want to fine tune? I think, I think we just to start, we got to fix all the simple mistakes, all the fumbles, the false starts, and just got to clean everything up and I think we'll be good from there. Will, what's been the biggest adjustment under Coach Owen? You know him, obviously. He's coached from Shawnee. But, but as he stepped into that head coach role, what have you seen that's maybe a little bit different? Um, Co Coach Owen, is, um, he's definitely pushed us a lot more than we have previously. Um, but other than that, it's, it's been a really smooth transition coming from Coach West, Coach Owen. And uh, he's, made, he's made a lot of things the same, so it's not as hard on us as players. Number of Shawnee grads on that coaching staff. Four of his assistants remain the same. A couple guys coming up from the lower ranks as well. So plenty of Shawnee tradition will continue this year for the Indians. When we come back on this Seifert Orion's Funeral Home Pigskin Preview, one more talk with three Shawnee Indians here at Buffalo Wild Wings. We're getting ready for high school football on WOSN. One last time at Buffalo Wild Wings with the Shawnee Indians. Your 2013 pigskin preview brought to you by Seifert Orion's Funeral Home. And the cheers are being led by Curtis Newland. You called him the wild child, Michael Eyes. Tell us about the team chemistry you guys have. You, you try and have some fun out there during two-a-days, don't you? Yeah, I mean, we're all friends and we're all family, you know. We're all, I mean, we've played with each other for the last four years or however long, you know, depending on what year we are. And, I mean, it's been great, you know, playing playing with, I mean, Curtis, he's been my left guard for four years now, so five years, all the way through eighth grade and seventh grade, so. Is he always, always talking on the line? Is he always telling jokes and getting you know the other what? team riled up? Every, every game before each game, he says, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to talk to the other team, and he's yet to let me down, so <laughs> I, I'm expecting it every game. Again, you know, ten more times at least. So. The WBL knows Curtis very well. <laughs> Linebacker for this team, Anthony Gronis, a senior, one of 22 seniors. How's the defense coming? A little simpler this year is what I'm understanding? Uh, yeah, uh, a lot of starters back. Uh, I think we only lost about two or three, and it's, we're running just four or three, and it's very simple. So. You, you like that style? Is it going to fit you guys this year, you think? Oh, yeah, most definitely. I think we, uh, our defense is going to be really tough to, tough to beat. So. Connor, Bianco down at the end, a wide receiver and defensive back. We, we talked to some of the other guys about switching offenses. How have you felt uh, that the spread has gone? I think it's, uh, it's going really well. We've uh, been able to air the ball out a lot more and be confident with it. So it's, uh, it's a whole different year. Mike, who's your big WBL rival? Is, is it Wapakoneta? Is it Elida? Is it Bath? Is it... Somebody else? It's got to be our crosstown rivals, Elida. I mean, every year we go out there, and last year we had that rain delay. It was a two-day thing, right? yep. And it, just, it took forever, it seemed <laughs> like, you know. And even just going out there on the second day, we were still the most, we were still pumped up from the day before, you know, ready, ready to go back out there and give it all we had, you know. So being, being across town, being the people that we see every year, you know, they're excellent rivals to have, so. That game is October 4th this year. It is home for the Shawnee Indians. We will have three broadcast games for the Shawnee against Marion Local week one, courtesy of WIMA, then against Van Wert on the 13th, and then D December or October the 11th, I should say, against Bass. Shawnee's hoping to be playing into December. If they would do be doing that, they'd be playing for a state football title. We thank you for joining us here at Buffalo Wild Wings. Thanks to all the great servers doing a good job, and thanks to Seifert Orange Funeral Home. Once again, the Shawnee Indians getting ready to go. 2013 on WOSN.